Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Artus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Grok Anime Companion. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offer just on this video. So let's get started. So if you want to start using Grok's Anime Companion here, well, this one is pretty easy to use. But how do you access it first? So the thing with Grok Anime Companion here, it's only available on iOS at, at this moment. So at the release of this video here, uh, Grok Anime Companion is only available for iOS devices. Now, if you're going to look at uh, at your Android device here and try installing Grok AI, Grok AI here, you won't see Anime Companion as of this moment. So sometime in the future, they may release it, but as of the now, right now, it's still in iOS. So how do you start using it if you, ha you do have an iOS device? So open up the Grok AI app here. Now, by the way, you want to make sure that you have the latest version of the app. So go ahead and just open up the... Uh, in this case, the App Store, go ahead and search for Grok AI and update the app. Now, inside the app, what you need to do is you want to go ahead and click on the uh, bar, the toolbar icon at the top left of your screen. And on the next page here, what you need to do is you want to go ahead and just choose the companion that you want to talk to. Like, for example, we have the uh, Bad Rudy, Good Rudy here. Now, you can go ahead and open it up or click on it, and that should load up the chat for that specific anime companion. Now, uh, with your anime command here, it may take a while for them to load up. So just wait for it to uh, wait for them to load up. But once they load it up, this is what it's going to look like. Now, the thing with this one is uh, with Grok AI, they instantly are going to start listening to you. So whatever you are trying to say here, they will hear it immediately. So uh, yeah. So what are the controls that you can expect here? So first is at the very bottom, you have the ask anything section. Ask anything here it is going to be the text box that you could use. So if you don't want to speak directly into your anime companion, you can just type it in and say whatever you want. Now you also have the microphone icon that you see at the bottom of your screen. So that actually mutes yourself. So if you do see a, or if you do see it highlight red, it means that you're currently muted. Now you also have the sound icon, which allows you to mute the AI companion, just in case that you want to uh, basically um, mute them for a while. So if you don't want to hear what they are trying to say here, but yeah. So if you click on the stop button at the bottom right of the screen, that's that just basically stops uh, the AI itself, and you can go and just uh, use another AI companion. But that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button, and watch our next video.